Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm participating Look for Less Challenge hosted by lovely Yami over at the Latina Next Door and her co-host this month is Christine K. Thank you so much ladies for hosting this. It was another fun challenge. If you're not familiar with their uh, channels, I will put a link below. Please go and check them out. Both are lovely channels. I'm sure you're going to subscribe afterwards. This is the third time I'm participating in this challenge and both of them are one of my popular videos to this date. If you haven't watched them yet, I will either put a card above or uh, leave links below so you can watch them. In today's video, I'm doing another Z Gallery inspired DIY as I love that store even though I live in England and never put a foot inside yet. I love this clam cushion and I try to make one for my living room. I had this silk velvet already and I cut it around an existing pillowcase, leaving the seam allowances around. I thought I bought the perfect shade of pink, peony pink, to dye my fabric with, but after 20 minutes the color was so dark and the pink shade did not match to the color of the pack, and I was very very disappointed and wasted that fabric. As you can see, it doesn't look anything like the pack. So I started again and tried using a different shade and kept only 5 minutes instead of 20 minutes and used quarter of the pack instead of the whole pack but I had another dark pink result and it was so disappointing. I washed both of them in the washing machine hoping that they would lose some of the intensity but unfortunately it didn't happen. Then I realized back of the second sample actually exactly what I was trying to achieve so I decided to use the fabric backwards instead. To give the foil effect I used silver leaves and glue for foils and I applied the glue uh, and let it dry completely. It was clear but still tacky when it was dry and I applied the silver sheet and rubbed with the back of my finger and created this beautiful foil effect. I then added pink and cream glass beads and they gave the elegant touch. I noticed the gallery cushion also had silver sequins but I opted out as they lose their shine in the wash. I put the good side inside, pinned around, sew around using straight stitch an invisible zip and I was so impressed with the end result. I'm a textiles teacher so I didn't want to give you too much detail but if you want me to uh, show you a DIY how to sew a simple cushion please comment below I would be very happy to share that with you. I 
absolutely love the end result. It looks beautiful and it goes perfectly with the rest of my living room decor. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and found it inspirational. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. I have more inspirational videos coming to your way, so hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss them. And until next time, bye bye.